Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Before we get started, I gotta talk to you guys about buy optimizers. These guys sent me a whole ton of these products to try out for my daily routine of vitamins, specifically trying to take care of my gut health. You know, as you get older, your diet kind of shifts back and forth. Right now I'm on this kick to try to lose 30 pounds and I'm trying to just get better at eating and gut health. And this was the perfect package to receive for my gut health. Like this is amazing. It even came with exercise bands, which is great. Very good for stretching the old hammy. The one thing bodies really need is magnesium. And that's what this thing is all about. It's got the seven essential forms of magnesium that you need for your gut health and overall health in general. I feel like my sleeps are a lot deeper. You know, when you get into that REM really quickly, you wake up feeling more rested. That's, I mean, guys, magnesium is really important. When you get all seven forms of the proper magnesium, your body gets a serious upgrade, like Voltron turning, you know what I mean? You don't, but I do. It helps with sleep, muscle inflammation. As you know, I'm in the gym busting my ass and it helps with muscle tension and all those things. I have a lot of tight hammies and I've got baseball season coming up. So this is a really important series of supplements I'm taking to help me so I can continue to be active and have fun. So here's the deal. Head over to magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash Josh to get 10% off and use Josh10 for your coupon code. It can be used for different things. So whatever you need it for, it's going to help you. Gut health is important. So click on the link in the description of the pinned comment below to save 10% right now. And thanks, bye optimizers for sponsoring the show. I really appreciate you guys. Let's get to it. Everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Today we're talking about crazy pieces and one of their kids is engaged and we're going to look at it because the threads are kind of lighting up about this girl. We're going to dig a little bit into who she is about Alex himself. We're not going to snark on Alex or anything like that, but he is an adult now and he wants to be a YouTube creator. We're going to talk about what that means. We're going to talk about what these parents are doing and what they're encouraging their kids to do, which I think is stupid. It's going to get crazy. Let's go. So if you don't know anything about the crazy pieces, they are in a they are a YouTube family who adopts children, multiples and multiples and multiples of children. They tell their story on their channel. They give away everything about them. Often they'll show foster kids faces or they'll put sunglasses on them to so they don't have to put a blur on them because they're lazy. Um, they take their exorbitant money that they make on YouTube and elsewhere and they buy expensive cars. They get their teeth fixed. They get it's all about like it's crazy because for a Mormon and they are Mormon, they're really they care mostly about their outward appearance and anything else. They exploit children on a level that's very, very hard to find on YouTube. They exploit between the two family, crazy pieces and crazy middles, like tens, dozens and dozens of children. They exploit them. When, when kids exit, they just bring more in, right? It's just a, it's a rotating door. There's kids have been removed. There's kids who've left. There's been failed adoptions, which does happen. But in the end, it's, I just consider this just a big factory of exploitation. OK, the kids do enjoy probably, you know, wealth and privilege and they have a pool and they have a mansion and everything else. But in the end, I'm going to make the argument that this isn't good for them. And Alex is one of those examples because Alex, I think, is making a huge mistake with what he's doing here. These kids come from trauma. And as you've heard my story, you know that trauma can be debilitating. It also doesn't have to define who you are. And so I want to be careful when I talk about Alex and these other kids that have tried to get married and have failed and relationships that have been failed. That'd be really careful because I don't think that Alex's trauma does have to define his future. But if you if you if it's unchecked in a lot of the ways, you will make mistakes and you will you will find ways to try to mitigate your trauma by in the end probably making really bad mistakes is what I'm going to say here. So before we dive into the entire thing, I did a little bit of research on this and Alex is someone had said on the Reddit threads, which by the way, guys, I want you to know this. The Reddit threads hate me. Okay. On the crazy pieces, crazy middles, Reddit thread. Um, just because there's half fans and half people calling them out. And so when I posted a comment and said, Hey, I'd like to know the timeline. You guys complained to me that I don't know anything about these families. Then here's your chance to educate me. Right. Because a lot of people get really upset with me if I don't know a detail or I forget something or there's something that I missed or said a name wrong or whatever the case may be. But I need you to know, and I've said this a bunch of times, I need you to know because I know you're watching this, okay? I don't know anything about them because I don't watch them, okay? I shouldn't know anything about them and neither should you. 
The fact that get people that the fact that these people who snark on them too, who call them out in a lot of ways, get angry at me because I don't know everything, is crazy to me. Nobody should know the amount of things that people know about these families. That's the problem, everybody. The fact that I don't know is good. If I knew everything about these families and was obsessed with them to that level, that's crazy. You shouldn't be. My argument is that nobody should know the things that you know about these kids, their medical conditions, their histories, their trauma, everything. You shouldn't know that. And the fact that you guys call me out sometimes for not knowing that is stupid. Get a hold of yourselves. But in this case, yes, I did want to know more about Alex because it's interesting because the, because my argument's going to be made that Crystal and, and what's his name? I forget his name. <laughs> Again, you guys will be like, you don't even know his name. Whatever. Crystal and the dude, they don't really parent their children. And I've said this multiple times about the crazy pieces. They don't because there's too many kids to parent. They cannot focus on their children to give them the attention that they deserve or need specifically based on their traumas. Now, I'm not saying they all need that, but it's very telling that as soon as they turn 18, they're kind of gone. They're gone. Right? I've got a 20 year old that still lives here, right? It's just, and I'm happy to have him here. Um, but it's interesting that they just all split. Some of them go back to their bio families. Some of them live with their bio brothers and sisters. But in general, they leave because this is just, I'm telling you, this is a, this is a house. This is a factory for content. There's no real relationships in my opinion. I mean, there is some to some degree, but I don't think there's really like a mother father love for the children and vice versa. That And that's very common in adoptions anyway, right? But because they do this and make a ton of money on it and they use it for content, a lot of these kids like grow disenfranchised by that whole lifestyle. They realize that they're here for content. And I'm sure some of them are going to spill the tea eventually. Spencer, I'm talking to you. They know things that we'll never know and will likely spill eventually. And I'm, I'm not saying that the skeletons are going to be crazy. I don't think there's any kind of essay or anything like that going on. But just more like a neglect abuse, right? Neglection, being neglectful because this is your life. Putting everything online, but then being someone completely different behind the camera. Crystal comes across as someone who's very sweet and innocent and everything else is not. That's the wolf in sheep's clothing that you got to be careful for. That you gotta be, that you gotta watch out for. She, Crystal, wants to be a teenager. She is time and time again shown that she is not like mother. She does not have the depth of being a mother, right? She's more like a friend. I, I think we can agree on that. I think even people who love Crazy Peas, Crazy Middles, can agree with me that Crystal is more like a friend than she is a mother, right? Just look at any interactions she has with them on camera, and then you're gonna say, "Well, you only see what they see on camera." Crystal is trying to be young right she's fake she's fixing her face she's fixing her teeth she's getting all this work done on her body and everything else because she wants to she's she i don't know she never got to do the thing she wanted to do i don't know i don't know it's really weird and it bothers me because at its core she gets all these things and this attention and all the things that she wants by exploiting children to get it and you all know how i feel about that right there has been actually before we get to alex there's another case one of their daughters tried to get married and we, we did cover that. They tried to start their own channel and it looked like she might've been being catfished. Right. And as I'm going through the Reddit threads, I actually realized, and I found out that Alex was catfished as well. These kids. And again, this, this lends to my argument that these kids are targets for catfishing. I was a small channel and I was majorly catfished. Okay. Catfishers exist. These are people looking for attention. They are often mentally ill people who catfish others, they create whole scenarios in different worlds and they come at you and they try to, they try to enter into your world. And catfishing is really dangerous because you can either, you know, steal money from somebody. You could make someone feel a certain way. Like my catfisher told me that they died and it broke my heart. I did a video on it. It's crazy. So invested in this person who was like, I'm dying and I want to, you're, you're like the person that I want to talk to in my dying days. And you're flattered and you're like, why me? And then you do that because they're dying. And then they catfished you. That's insane. Guys, that's insanity. Like, I don't care. That is nuts. So these kids are targets for people like Savannah, which I'm going to make the argument for lightly i'm gonna say you know allegedly but it's gonna be really interesting because that other daughter that tried to get married to what's his name that didn't work out and the fans were all like don't 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 fans and haters alike were like this is crazy don't and then obviously didn't work out and he's now out of the picture and aaron crystal and aaron do not parent their children because they don't i mean at some point you gotta let your kids do what they're gonna do i get that right when they're adults you can go do what you want but I mean, part of that is that you have these kids for a long period of time. You can set them up for success by allowing them to not just have unfettered access to the internet and get catfished. 
right? Because that's going to be, I'm not saying that Savannah's a catfish, but I'm not saying she's not a catfish. You know what I'm saying? So all that to say, Alex is getting engaged and I wanted to watch the engagement film first because it's very telling about what Crystal, the depth she'll go for content, right? Like I wouldn't be happy with my 18 year old getting engaged. It's not something I'd be like, okay, well, you're an adult. Okay, go ahead. But I'm not going to make content and be happy about it. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm like, I would love you to make, uh, you know, wait a little bit, go to college, maybe go get a career or to go do some, go travel a little bit first before you get engaged to 18. It's almost 100% that this marriage, if it does go through, will not work out. And we're going to go through that today. We're going to find out who Savannah is based on what we can, because she's very, there's not a lot out there according to the Reddit threads. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Alex. We're going to talk about the catfishing, but first I want to go down this video people have been begging me to cover and not necessarily snark on, but to go over this, this engagement video with Alex and Alex is now 18. Alex does want to be a YouTuber. Alex is an adult. The Reddit threads seem to think also that Alex is the draw to the crazy pieces channel. And there's a really, really easy way to do that, to find out. Here's the easiest way to find out that Alex is one of the biggest draws. You go sort by most popular. Bio Brothers Re Reunited. I don't know if that's, that is that Alex? Made or figured out. Yep. We will vlog like they're in. Okay, so Alex is their number one draw, 3.9 million views. Okay, adopting two teens. Alex is in the picture there. The hard part of episode. Oh my god, they have a video. The hard part of epilepsy has 2.2 million views. Which of your kids are siblings? Adoption story, high views, high views. Surprising my adoption teens. That's Alex in the video. So, yeah, I mean, in the top. In their top 10 videos, Alex is in over half of them. So I would I would agree. I want to say that I definitely agree that Alex is one of the main drivers to the Crazy Pieces channel, which means that they make a lot of money because of him. And I've said this before, and I haven't seen, I've maybe seen five to six videos of Crazy Pieces. Alex is absolutely the favorite. And it's not hard to see. And if I can see it after watching five, it'd be interesting to see what people who have seen every single video and nuance what they believe. I mean, the people who love them are like, no, 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 that's all good. There's so much there's going to be bias, right? And I'm going to be biased. But from what I've seen, and I think we can agree, Alex is a, is a favorite at least. Top five. Let's say that. How about that? Before we get into the video, this is the history of Alex and Savannah, according to Reddit and according to people that I've asked questions for, okay? So apparently they met last August on the internet. It's unclear if it's through either Tinder, a dating app, or she reached out to him on Instagram, or he reached out to her. I'm sure it's clear. I just don't have the video. Right, I'm going to read this to you guys because it's important. It's on the Reddit thread, keep it crazy snark, just so you're aware, which is, a, I didn't even know existed, has almost a thousand members, but this is, I'm not going to say who wrote this. But it says this, the issue behind, behind Alex and Savannah, this is important. So as many people stated in today's vlog about Alex buying a ring for Savannah to propose, I just thought it was ironic that he decided to propose so fast when not too long ago he was questioning Isaac, Isaac, I suck and Melinda's relationship. So he was questioning that Isaac and Melinda, which the one we talked about. Yet here we are, not even a year later, Alex is ready to propose to his girlfriend. Now, let me explain what I find so alarming about this whole thing. One, he has a history of being catfished. And we'll go over that video. Yet he met his girlfriend on Instagram, even though they had no mutual followings. Interesting. No mutual followings. And I'm not sure if she reached out to him or he reached out to her. I don't know. Um, it'll be interesting to find out for sure how the case is. Because if she reached out to him, okay. He saw what could happen if you move quickly in a relationship and turned around and did the exact same thing. Right. He barely knows her. And I don't mean like, oh, knowing her favorite color. I mean, like really getting to know her. What set her off? What are her limits and outside of the relationship, etc.? He has a big following and is part of a YouTube family, aka people could easily try to get close to the family for the wrong reasons. Isaac. They're saying Isaac did that. I just thought it was so dumb on CNA's part for their only for not only encouraging, but allowing Savannah inside their home and around their family so quickly. This is important because they I think Savannah stayed with them for a long period of time. People are, are saying that Savannah is a in-flight attendant, possibly works for an airline and gets to fly around, but that's not been confirmed. Um, Savannah vapes. Savannah does all these things. So it, there's not a lot known about Savannah. And I'm not, and again, I don't even think that they know if their values align, which is a big deal if you're going to marry somebody, okay? He barely met her family. I mean, in person, and he is ready to propose. So you're telling me that her mom met him one time besides talking on a video call and just agreed to give her blessing on letting her daughter not only fly out to this random dude, but also move in with him. Yeah, I don't buy it. Well, 
it's 2022. It doesn't really matter what the parents want. If she's if she's an adult, she do whatever she wants. But I think what she's saying there, or this what this person is saying here, is that he asked the parents for permission. But if my daughter is flying out to see some random on YouTube, I'm not gonna no, <laughs> no. That's my answer. Circling back to CNA's family life being on YouTube, it's so easy for people to manipulate their way into their family. Of course, they're going to use the kids for that. That only sucks for the kids, but it's so messed up that CNA aren't even careful about it when it's already happened once in their family. And probably happened more. We just don't know about it. I know Shelly and Jerry got married very quickly in their marriage, and that's what Crystal's referring to when she says, oh, people in my family got married fast after meeting. Mormons. But Miss Crydum... <laughs> Okay, Miss Crydum, when Jared said, when Jared and Shelly met, there wasn't YouTube or any online fame, the family. They also met at an older age once they matured. It's so frustrating when she tries to brush it off every single time saying, oh, other people did it. It's true. The issue here that I'm going to try to put across is that these kids are in danger from being catfished and from being taken advantage of because they're famous and they're rich. And this Savannah girl, how much do you really know about her, right? I mean, you, you, maybe he does. Maybe they, and I'm sure they have talked for multiple hundreds of hours. Sure, let's get, let's be there. But how do you know? How do you know for sure? You don't know anything about this person for real. So all that to say, that's kind of the history of Savannah. She came into his life through Instagram. They met, they talked. Then she moved out there, basically. Came, visited, and then stayed. I think the issue too here is that they're comparing Savannah to Isaac, and Isaac came in and everybody saw right through it. And Alex even saw through it. And people are trying to say, Alex, you need to see through this because this is just at, 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 at minimum, don't get married, right? Date for years. Do what you got to do. If you're getting married, just to have sex. Oh my gosh, just have sex. This is the problem with Christians and Mormons alike who grew up in this type of world where they're like saving themselves. They want to get married to have sex. And then they realize that that, oh shit, that's not the, that's not a good reason to get married. Cause it isn't don't get married. Okay, because then you are legally bound to this woman, Alex, and she's legally entitled to half your shit and you've got money, right? We know that Alex has money. I know that. Well, I guess we'll see in this video in a minute. I'm, I'm so ranting before we even get to this video, but Alex is a big draw. And if he has a channel and it grows, it grows, it grows. Savannah's going to be a part of that. If this falls apart and it likely will, everybody, okay, Alex is throwing that away. He's throwing half his money away. What if she's here to take advantage of him and nobody knows? Okay. The issue is that it sucks that you have to say that stuff, but you do because Alex is famous on the internet and Savannah is nobody. We don't know anything about her. She could completely just be doing this to gold dig. So with all that said, let's get to this video. Apparently it's really cringy. You can open your eyes. Let her open her eyes. What? <laughs> oh, I'm already... I'm sorry. Like I'm not. I'm, people are like don't don't snark, but let let's be here, okay? If I, I have visceral reactions to, to cringe, and it's gonna happen, okay? I'll try my best not to snark. And again, this isn't against Alex. All of this generally is against Crystal because look who's behind the camera. If you're gonna get get engaged to your girlfriend, maybe your freaking adopted mom shouldn't be breathing into your nostrils right next to you. It's inappropriate at minimum, okay? Just gross. Don't do this, is what I'm saying. And they did it for content to make money. Don't forget that, everybody, that this is a video created to bring money. Nothing is off limits. Nothing is sacred anymore. It's all for your consumption and their fans' consumption. And it's gross. Good morning, keep it crazy, family. If I lived in this house <laughs> and, like, she's walking around like, Dad! I could not just, I couldn't be with, I couldn't be around her. Like, especially as a teenager. Teenagers are like grumpy. They don't want to be talked to or touched or hugged or anything. Imagine this one in your face. Good morning, crazy cat. You're like, mom, shut up. That's what I'd say. I love you, but man, chill, lady. That's what today is. What's today? Savannah's birthday. The second is Savannah. So Savannah is, okay, there's two Savannahs, okay? This is Alex's girlfriend who's living with them. Cool Mormons. <laughs> it's so funny how Mormons, especially in family vlogs, are so cool with certain things, but are so against other things. Just insane. Like they'll wear their magical garments, but they'll let their son's girlfriend move in with them. <laughs> Just gotta be kidding me. Alex's girlfriend's birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Crystal! Ew, stop it! Just looking at the lens. Ah, happy birthday! Thank you? Yeah. Hey, you're 20 years old, right? Yeah. Okay. And Alex is how much? Is Alex 20 as well? 
I thought Alex was 18. <laughs> I was getting candles and I'm like, I hope we got this right, but okay, yay! Does she not want to spend her birthday with her family? Again, we're going to be looking through this whole thing from a lens of me just, hey, let me ask a bunch of questions. I'm sure you'll answer them or you'll call me out for them. But who just like, okay, she's 20. I okay, whatever. We're going to have the most best day you've ever had. For your the most best day. Birthday. Okay. Take a shot. No, <laughs> no, not shopping. I cannot believe today is the day. So as you guys saw, it is Savannah's birthday, but Alex is going to be proposing to her today. Does any, okay, not cringy, but I find this really gross because of course she's going to turn the camera on. Look, everybody, my son, my adopted son is going to be engaged at a really young age, someone he rarely knows. Let's Film it for y'all. Yeah. But you know, in her heart of hearts and Aaron's heart of hearts, they know this is a really big mistake. They do. But it doesn't matter because they'll film it for content. And then they'll film the breakup for content. They absolutely will. So we have a lot to set up. We're going to do a birthday party for her and just make it super special. And then Alex. I can't not look at her teeth. I'm sorry. It's just when you see the other video about like the catfishing one, the difference is so insane. Like, could you just not get more subtle? This will propose later on today, which I'm like so nervous but excited for him. And it's just like, oh, I can't believe today is finally that day. This, will you marry me, sign? Aww. Yeah. And like again, this is all really romantic stuff. I get it. Going out of your way to do something you love for someone because I did the same thing. I get that. But you can't forget that this is for content, right? And probably Crystal made all these plans for Alex. Like Crystal, like, do this, do this, do this. It'll look good. Again, all for content. We never forget this point that even though I'm kind of like being. Like I'm being passe about all that stuff. Like I'm just being, uh, it's because Crystal is doing this for content. And, okay. We, are, we have a like huge, a I was wondering what these were. I thought these were part of the house. No. Now it makes sense. Yeah, this is all for your stuff. Look <laughs> at all these boxes we had to pack in the van. Um, it's, okay. and then we have a giant archway that's going to have flowers on it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be and so good. Okay, I don't know if it'll work because we need power for some of this stuff. We'll so we it. need to go find like a power bank thing. But I've never tried these little sparkler boxes. So our idea was for him to do it. And as soon as she says yes. Okay, let me stop you there. This is Crystal in, in proposing to Savannah. This is not Alex. This is Crystal doing everything. Nope. And Savannah's got to see right through that. Your mom's doing it. Your mom's doing all the proposing. Your mom's setting it all up. Mm, it bugs me because it's content. It's not anything but selfishness. That's what it is, man. Sparkles go on. And it's like, shh, you know. But we haven't tried it. Okay, but look how cool these are. Let's try it, guys. Listen, right now. What? Right wait, now. Wait, wait, hold She's more excited than Alex is to get engaged. That's very telling. We're doing in this. The house? Hold this. No, you're supposed yeah, to. Fast forwarding. <laughs> is it hot? Is that what they call it? <laughs> this is really smart. Setting off, I'm bet you in the. In, are, you, are you supposed to do that in the house? Could you set your house on fire? Dumb. Bet, bet you it says right in the manual don't light this in a house. And here they are. They have like 30 kids in this house. That house is going to burn to the ground. And everybody's going to die. Don't do this, okay? Stupid. <laughs> Idiots. Wow. Idiots. Yeah, I can't wait for the person who owns the Airbnb to watch Oh, they're in an Airbnb. Oh, God, oh, that's even better. Holy shit! She's in an Airbnb somewhere, and they're lighting off a, 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 a flammable sparkler in someone else's Airbnb. That's just great. <laughs> and they think it's funny. Also, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> <more. laughs> Where's Savannah and all this? Okay, turn it off. We're, we're causing a lot of hurt. Okay, so you we're idiots. Clearly, what we're doing. Your mom needed to save the sparkler. Again. Does Crystal strike you as an adult here, everybody? Is she the mom or is she the friend? Right? Is she the best friend? The reason this matters, okay? Because these kids don't need a best friend. They don't need someone to let them do whatever they want to do. They don't need someone to let them just go hog wild. They need someone to give them structure and to help them overcome their past, right? And you cannot do that. I'm sorry. Not all the time. Maybe sometimes you can, but you cannot do that by being their best friend and let them do whatever the hell they want. Okay? You can't do that either by exploiting them and their stories for money. Adoption is serious. It's hard and it's not to be taken lightly and it's not to be exploited. And that's exactly what these two families do. And this is exactly why I come after them. I just came in here to ask you guys to 
gonna ask what the plan looks like. Thanks, Jess Fam Angles. So Alex and I were reading on one of the papers that there was a clubhouse here for the Airbnb residents people. Um, and so he's like, go check. Get one of their lights from their ceilings hanging. Get out real quick and just see if it's a possibility <laughs> for the um, proposal. So we're just gonna look at it real quick. I mean, we, you're doing everything, Crystal. Why don't you propose to Savannah? That's basically what happened. Stayed back with Savannah so she didn't get suspicious. But. Savannah, okay. <laughs> Okay. It's like 30 kids in that house. You don't think one of them spilled the tea already? Come on. So far, the outside's really pretty. You ready? I'm you ever tried to get a kid to keep a secret? Good luck. Planning team. Oh, so do you want to do the beach? Okay, I just showed Alex the footage of the place. I did say she wanted to get proposed to on a beach. Unpredictable. So you've known this girl for a few months, and you already know she wants to get proposed to on a beach. And that's not a red flag for anybody? You know what I'd really like to be proposed to on a beach? You don't think that's sh okay, guys. That's red flag. He and Crystal's doing all this stuff without Alex even being there and like, hey, you want to do this? Want to do that? Why don't you let Alex take care of it? He's an adult now. That's why this video is important. This shows everything you need to know about this family. This guy's making this crazy decision for his life. Okay. Bad decision, in my opinion, and bad decision to do YouTube and everything else. And Crystal and them are just like, they know this is bad. Any parent worth their salt knows this is stupid. And they can have an honest conversation with their kid and they can prepare them for it. Let them do it, sure, whatever, make the mistakes. But it's not. Crystal's literally egging him on. There's no conversation of like, there's not a conversation like, you sure? <laughs> you know her for like four months? She could be a serial killer. She's from New York. So just, you know, the Ninja Turtles are from there. So just, it's just in mind blowing to me that the fans don't see through this. They don't see the push. They don't see the content. They don't see the the, the everything for content push. And uh, does Alex look very happy here? And so we don't know what's going to happen. And so like, it's supposed to rain and, with, and we're a exactly. little nervous. And with the, with the beach, we'd have to have, like, we have to have power to get sparklers. All right, we... How about you just... <laughs> I mean, the answer is don't get engaged right now. Maybe wait another year. Sure. So you really can find out who this person is. You were, <laughs> I can't, I, it mime, it's mind blowing to me how many people get married, especially because I come from the Christian world. How, so young. And the people that, you know what? And some, and often it does work. Okay. I'm not saying it doesn't, but it often doesn't either. And it usually flames out really hard. This family has a record of that already. That's what I'm saying. We are running over to, there's a Best Buy nearby, and we're going to try to find a power bank or some kind of power source so that we can do this on the beach, because that's where Alex really wants to do it. Not going to happen. Yeah. Where's Alex? <laughs> Why are we running to Best Buy? Couldn't we drive? It's kind of hot. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> it's very humid here. Look at my... Who is this guy? Is this some rando dude that hangs out with this family? Is he a brother? An uncle or something? Even if it was. Weird. They're curling up. Look at this. Is that, is that curly? Me too. What about you? I'm fine. Freezy? Yeah, Max has like I'm, straight yeah, hair. Getting, yeah. Look, it's all freezy. Look what it's doing. Oh my gosh. Let's just shave it off then. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. And protect me from the alligators. <laughs> found one so i'm just so probably six hundred dollars excited for alex and I'm but <laughs> likely what they'll do is well, they're rich but they don't care but they'll buy it they'll use it and they'll just take it back when they're done just so proud of him for i don't know planning and just like putting this all together He's are you proud of alex for planning putting this together when you're planning and putting it together so proud of me for planning my my barely adult son engagement to someone he doesn't know i'm so proud of me like, am I crazy or am I just being biased? Because this woman, oh, it bugs me because at it's because again, at their core, everything that they do is take advantage of these ch these kids. <laughs> like it just, it's, and it's so obvious. You look so beautiful today. Do you like your cake? So I, was, I love it. I love it. I saw a red velvet cake and I thought of you. Yes. So I gave you your own personal red velvet. And then I felt like that looked Rapunzel. I love it. I love it. I love Thank you. So this girl comes out, meets a guy, is cool with being on YouTube and everything else. Does it, again, I'm just trying to point to the red flags. I could be wrong. Generally, my gut's right about these things, but red flags galore. 
hey, you met this guy, you didn't know he was on a YouTube channel? Are you sure? You're sure? All of a sudden you get to know him, you're like, oh, you're on this very famous YouTube channel that has millions and millions and millions of views? That's cool, let me be on that channel with you. No, sorry, if you're gonna date somebody, the first thing you're gonna do is Google who they are. And that's gonna come up. I'm just saying there are flags, I'm not saying it's necessarily true. <laughs> Okay, stop jumping. No, it's just a chocolate candle, I think. It's not out of the Hey! Okay. Next! Happy birthday? How you can feed 20 kids with that cake? Yes! Yeah! yeah. This, is this the best birthday ever? Okay, let me just lay out how they've done this birthday. They're at some Airbnb where they almost lit on fire. She comes into the kitchen, and here's your cake. Doesn't light the candles, doesn't say sing happy birthday, nothing. Here's a balloon, and kids are running around. Here's 15 cameras. Best birthday ever! Is this what the best birthday ever is? Because what they're gonna say is the engagement is the best birthday ever. This girl knows what's going on. Alex doesn't even know her. <laughs> I know her more than Alex does. <laughs> You didn't like the chocolate candle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't light it. Bite into it. Okay, it's a, <laughs> it's a Kit Kat. Oh, it's yeah. Was it hot? Oh, it should not taste like chocolate. Ugh, oh, this guy. I don't like this guy. I don't even know his name. Oh. No, Joe, did you? You're so funny, Joe. Why is Joe on vacation with his family? Stop lighting it! Why is his family on vacation? Again, people are like, you don't know why they're on vacation, Josh? <laughs> you don't do any research. I don't know. I shouldn't know. Neither should you. Okay, so Alex has decided that he wants to do it from the beach. So we are on our way to the beach, but we are still like 30 minutes away, and all of the little kids need to go pee. So why are you bringing the entire family to an engagement? Again, this is... Uh, this isn't Alex proposing to his girlfriend. This is Crystal proposing to Alex's girlfriend and making content out of it. Alex could have just taken his... He has his license, right? Just go by yourself. But they need to film it for content. That's the problem here, everybody. It's just... It's so inv it's so invasive, too. So they're, like, back there saying... Like, she inputs herself into this. Like, she is like, I need to be glued to you at all times. Help us! Help us! Because they just need to be. <laughs> <laughs> getting dark and we're still about 30 minutes away and I'm like super nervous that it's bad planning so you're gonna do this one thing you get to do once in your life apparently and you're not even planned properly just get there early this is dumb it's gonna be too dark but you're lighting off sparkler so who cares for him to propose is there a light? Is there a daylight thing to proposing people if it's dark you're not allowed to what you turn into a vampire or something what happens if you propose at night I did at night what happens? This is never too dark, right? You can propose in the dark. Thank it's you. Okay. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> you sound convinced. I told him, do you want to push it and do it on a different day? And he's like, no, I'm very sad on today. No, you should have pushed it for at least a year. A another year. Minimum another year. Like, I'm not even sure they're not even living together right now in an apartment. I don't know what's going on yet. Like, again, I'm sure you'll tell me. Okay. We'll make it work. We have some lights on our cameras, so if anything, we'll all just light them up with our cell phone lights. That'll be romantic. It'll be, it'll be okay. We oh, I know why they don't want to do it at night, because the cameras don't pick it up. That's why. They, she just gave it away. We can't propose at night because we can't see it. That's the most important thing. Not that there's like this engagement for union. It's that we need to see it for content. We started going and we were going fast, everything was going good, and now there's a car accident in front of us. So Do they know the crazy pieces have a fake engagement to get to? Oh my god, drive better. Now I know for sure we're not gonna make it in time. Excuse me, but I'm so sad. I want to do it tonight, but now there's a crash wasting more time. I really want to make today special. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, there's so many things Alex could have done. They have money. There's so many. You didn't have to go anywhere to do this. Could have done it at your house and pimped out your house with a million lights and tea lights and strung millions of lights and had music and stuff and had all the kids inside and then put like a glass thing over the pool and have a dance. There's a million things you could have done. Except here's what we did. We bought a cake from the grocery store every, and then we showed it to you before we lit the candles. Here's a balloon. Here are the kids singing, birthday, uh, singing happy birthday off key. And then we're going to drive to a beach an hour away. That's That's... Just insane. And that's another reason I hate these people. None of them are good at content. No good ideas. 
She's never had a good birthday, and today would make that memorable. 20 years old, never had a good birthday. So that's, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm saying that's a red flag. Who has 20? I mean, I have had some of the worst life anybody could ever have. I've had many great birthdays. What is that supposed to mean? This is something, again, that the red flag to the catfishing. If that is what he's saying because she told him that, is that not give you, should that not give you a moment to pause and say, why? 20 years, no good birthdays? Red flag. <sighs> Blowing in the wind. <sighs> I'm not just saying that she doesn't deserve a good birthday. I'm just saying when you have been catfished, like I've been catfished and like Alex has been catfished and these, they've probably been catfished, everything catfished. You should have your guard up at all times and looking for every flag possible and then trying to dismantle that flag or not just disregard it, but research into it and then make sure that it's not indeed a red flag. He just wanted to make her birthday so special. That's why he chose Did to he? do it on you her You mean you? You mean you? Birthday. But it makes me so sad. <laughs> but we're still going to try to make this work. I text him back like, hey, it'll just be more romantic when Will that it? night or write it. I don't know. Hopefully it's not pitch black, but we're going to make this work. If we ever get through this crash. What's with the music? Cool, show the crash on camera. Awesome. Jeez. Oh, they're down in Florida, okay. Absurdly long. It. it took absurdly long. We finally made it to the beach. That was horrible. Is that the other Savannah? I think that's the other Savannah, right? No, I know. There was a huge, like, six car crash that took an hour. It was so sad. That part of love was so sad. This is not going to be romantic. I'm sorry. You got kids running around. It's nighttime. Kids got to get to bed. They got to piss. What is going on here? <gasps> Where's Savannah in all this? Does she not know what's going on? Hannah's committed to the I'm speech. not going to get in. You can't. You can't. You can't. Savannah's in the background and be like, what's going on? Yeah. It's so bad. It's almost like I, it's like it's so bad to point out I think it's fake. That's what I think. I honestly think it's fake. Okay, let's go. So what are we gonna do now? Now so we're here and it's dark. At two o'clock. Okay, Savannah is walking with them, and he's like, "What are we gonna do now? What does she think is happening right now? Are they gonna kidnap me? Is there some kind of like, do I have to be branded like Yellowstone to be in this family? What's happening now? Is she not scared? We were supposed to be here, <laughs> and now it's seven. It's seven. It's seven. Oh. It's seven we're still getting our beach pictures. It's her birthday. Oh, okay. They wanna. That's what they're doing. <laughs> How are you gonna get beach pictures? Pitch black out. Let's get it. Fell. This is a fell. It's a fell. It's a fell. Fail. It's a fail. Yes, I agree. This is the kind of day we're having. Okay, here's the thing, Alex. Let's make. I'm gonna make a new plan because my original plan didn't work. What if we do it right under these like really pretty lights? Okay. Yesterday she was like, I don't want to do anything. Like seriously, I was hyping it up and I was like, it's gonna be a good day. Again. Guys, these are <laughs> when, <s> when you're like in love and stuff like that, it's like the first thing you say is, I hate my birthday. I hate everything. Like there's, it seems like she's negative, like a lot. And Alex is already feeling the need to overcome her negativity. Look, I'm not saying every relationship doesn't have something like that, but they don't know each other. That's the problem. They don't know anything about this girl. And then we get stuck in the car for four hours. Yeah, we get stuck for four hours. So I want to keep that promise and make it good. Okay, we just got to set it up. So is the only way to make her birthday good is to be engaged? Because it feels like you have a lot of pressure to make her birthday good because she told you that all of her birthdays were terrible. She has trauma or whatever. Okay. And so you, you, you honestly think Alex, that the only way to make a birthday special isn't to fly her out to Daytona beach and have a good day, but is to propose to her. So something tells me that there might be a little bit of the <laughs> coercion, catfishing. I don't care. There's something there, right? People who catfish other people are really good at it. Like I'm, I'm a pretty smart guy. I think so anyway, maybe not all the time. I have a really, I trust my gut on a lot of things. Okay. But when I got catfished and then I found out the truth, I have never been more, I've never been more mad at myself and never been, I've never questioned myself more. And now every time someone speaks to me on the internet or whatever, I'm like, I assume they're murderers. 
That's the thing, right? They are good at what they do. They are very convincing. And the fact that you don't really know anything about this girl, which is fine. Maybe she doesn't want you to know anything about her. Again, it's back and forth thing. I'm just, I'm just trying to say, say what I think here. Okay. Everyone's down there at the beach, kind of putting their feet in. Then we're gonna do this. We are. See that? We're gonna do this, Crystal. It's nothing to do with you. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna do this. Are you nervous? How are you feeling? No, I'm excited. I just. I think there's a video too where they bought a ring and it's like really expensive. Wish it would have been. Well, you're engaged for the Hartley Davidsons. You know what, though? It'll be romantic. It will be romantic at night. That ship sailed, though. If you really wanted this to be romantic, you would have just, you wouldn't have rushed it. That's the problem. You would have said, okay, this is going to be perfect. Then we can make it perfect. It doesn't have to be on a birthday. You can make it perfect without having to be on a birthday. But again, I have to come back to that. The only way to make her birthday perfect is to get engaged on her birthday. Because maybe she said that. Okay, we are trying to build this little art. It is huge. <laughs> and kidding. it is huge. So they're late to this birth, to this engagement. They haven't set anything up. They buy all the boxes out and they're just going to sit here and do this. And then they're going to what? Bring her up to it with her eyes closed and then say, open your eyes. And then it's awkward. Look, man, I'm sorry. But they rushed this for content. They're in Daytona Beach because this is where they wanted to do it. And they couldn't just, they just couldn't swallow their pride. That's the problem here. They just are going through with it. Literally forcing himself to do something less than for content. And he's like, I really love her. I want I want to be with her for the rest of my life and all this stuff. If you really, really did mean that, then you would have made it matter later. You could have waited a day or two or a week or whatever. This is, again, this is it. This is Crystal not being a parent. They're not even, they're just laid out. Looks like a seance. What's going on? Is that going to work? Yeah, it'll work. It's so cute. It's so basic, though. What else did you have in mind? It's basic, and you were going to do this same exact thing on the beach. Oh, it's cute, Alex. I just stuck some flowers in the trees. This is good. I'm sorry. Like, I get it. Alex is, like, in... I feel sorry for Alex here. I don't... I honestly feel like Alex is being coerced by not only Crystal, but by Savannah, and he feels the pressure and the need to do this right at this moment, and he knows it's not perfect. And I know in his heart of heart, if he does love this girl, he he probably regrets that he did this, right? I can't say he for sure, but this is just rushed and and isn't the magical moment he wanted it to be. And he, and he keeps stating she has never had a good birthday. And so you rush this to not give her the thing, you know, to not really put any time and effort into it anyway. So it shows that you just were rushing this for content. It's romantic. You know what's not romantic, Crystal? You there with a camera and a light on in their romantic moment. You are not even allowing your child to have a moment that should be private without sharing it to the internet. This could be a moment for them to, to just be together. Right. And you're not even allowing that you are literally a foot away from them. Why he's about to engage her about to propose to her. Do you not see a, Does anybody see a problem with that? There is no intimate moments allowed. If you're in the, in this family, this is not, again, you can share this later. Like if you want to take pictures or something afterwards, but this is just, again, it's all for show, all for show and content and money rushed with <laughs> If my mother-in-law was like a foot away from my face while I'm proposing to my wife, not happening. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I'm not going with candles. They just like they threw them on the ground. All right, I'm walking down. I'm walking down to get Savannah. Alex Savannah, is come with us. So nervous, but it's so cute. So cute. Just because you say it doesn't mean it is. Sorry. Your original plan probably would have been better, but you, again, where did you bring everybody? I want to fall down the stairs. Let me get her. Okay, we're ready. None of these kids are like, this is smart. You can tell none of them are excited about it. They're all just like, what? Is they No, no. They've seen, these kids have seen some shit. Okay, I'm sorry. They know what went down with the other kid. Probably other people have been catfished. They know. They know! She's excited. I like her genuine excitement for her brother. Oh you ready to take some pictures? Yeah. Your birthday's almost over. It's almost over. I got five more hours. This girl has never been seen without it being on her phone. Who's she talking to? She's a loner, has no friends. That's what Reddit seems to think. She has nobody. She's on her phone 24 hours a day. 
The moment she's down with everybody, she's always on her phone. Blowing her candles out, she got her phone on. Sitting there with her boyfriend, she got her phone on. <laughs> so, I, don't, I, I, I have an off feeling about this, and I don't even, I've never seen her before. And it could just be, you know, confirmation bias. Okay, okay, I'm not open. Close your eyes, close your eyes, <laughs> while Crystal walks yeah, you. It's birthday surprise. Yeah, it's candles. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Okay. First off, I just, not yet. Not yet. First off, I just want to say happy birthday. I love you. Okay. This is they're all the people are watching. There's not an intimate moment that they're allowed to have. And I'm sorry. If you're gonna propose to somebody. This isn't necessarily the rule, but unless you're doing it for show, don't do this because a lot of people do that for show. A lot of women in this day and age, and I've seen it and people cover it. They're like, if you're going to propose to me, like it's got to be Instagram worthy. Like they are making it for content. Every, and it shouldn't be a thing. Bring back intimate moments that you can share and remember together. This is insane and very cringy. Best thing that's ever happened to me, and I'm happy that we were able to get to this point. I'm sorry that it didn't go as planned. But okay. I, have a great day. Have a great day. I hope so. I love you. You can open your eyes. Let her open her eyes. Her eyes. And, and Crystal's like, okay, okay, open your eyes now. Open your eyes. Like, oh my god. <laughs> you know the cringe. Just wipe it off. Maybe it'll come off. Oh, it bugs me because it didn't need to be this way, but it did need to be this way for them. It bothers me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so surprised. Surprise face. I can't wait. I think I got my lashes done for this video. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Okay, hold on. I'm really nervous. It's because you're not even close to ready to do this, dude. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, teenagers. You said that. Suck. Suck. Oh my god! Oh my god! Savannah, Margo, Savannah. Oh my god! That shit's expensive. That's like a mom vlogger ring right there. Holy moly. Be real, ladies. Be real. If someone proposed to you with a ring like this, are you saying no? <laughs> I'm saying yes. And I'm married. So yes, of course I will. Look at that thing, holy shit. <laughs> but him being wealthy and rich has nothing to do with this, nothing. <laughs> Move across the country if someone yet met on Instagram to get married, nothing to do with fame or money. It's just possible. impossible. No, the answer is that it's possible. The answer is that it is possible. It has to be in the question. Alex has been catfished and we're gonna go through that video in a minute. I'm not, again, Crystal should feel super uncomfortable with this and everybody should be because this is not cool. Because it seems that their kids, it seems like this happens to a lot of their kids. <laughs> Move away from the sparks, you're gonna let your hair on fire. This was the cringiest thing I've ever seen. And look, Alex is happy, so be it. Alex, you're happy, whatever. But I wanna point out, and I think a lot of people who point out, and I think even fans of the Crazy Pieces and Crazy Middles want to point out that they, and they're not entitled to anything at all, obviously, but this is crazy. This is something to be really careful of. And as a parent, no, don't do this. You have a responsibility to your kids, Crystal and Aaron, and you have failed them so many ways. And you come across like you're the best thing that ever happened to them. And maybe you are to a degree, but in, in, in the real world, when shit like this goes on real world, things like marriage and everything, you do not teach your kids boundaries. You don't, you don't monitor their internet activity. You don't know who their friends are. You guys cannot parent properly in the end. And again, we're going to go over this video real quick. I want to go over this video real quick. I know this is a long video, but it's, it's been sitting in my docket for a while. I just want to get it off the docket, but, uh, they're going to go to this video with crystal with pre teeth crystal. And we're going to talk about this catfishing story, a little bit of a sad story that happened because we have to, in order to understand the context of what catfishing is and to realize that he's already been catfished and is very susceptible to it, we've got to watch this. I haven't even seen it, but this is it, okay? Alex had some rough things this week, but we're going to talk about that later on in the video. Sounds like, it looks like, yeah, rough stuff. Cool, let's do it. Let's make content about me being catfished. 
awesome. And my low is that Aaron isn't here and I really miss him. So for those of you who follow our Instagram. Now that you see her pre-surgeries and everything else, what a difference, right? You see that. And the confidence that these people think that they need to have by changing their entire bodies because they're on the internet and on camera is so sad. I'm sorry. It bothers me because they do these things by gaining money by exploiting their children. So we will explain as much detail as we can. Um, there's some privacy things that uh, I can't explain why I got the phone call and things with it. There's some privacy things, but we're going to tell you it. Okay. Don't do this. But the good thing that came out of the phone call was that we can get Alex's entire file back to when he first came into care. Um, I admire how positive that you've remained. I need to talk to you about this for real quick. I had to rewind. But what she's telling him, I'm so proud of you for this thing that you've done. I'm so proud of you for this thing. And I'm so admire you for this thing. Watch what's happening here, everybody. She's admiring and giving him, you know, positive affirmations, everything while looking into a camera while he's looking into a camera. Okay. This is why these kids find this positive because then when the camera's on, look at all the positive affirmations I'm going to get. This is a conversation you have with your child without the camera on, but she tends to do this with the camera on so she can come across like she's an amazing mom, but at its core, it's exploitation. Okay. Unbelievable. And how you've always looked at the positive in every situation, even if there's so much negative in it. I try to, because I don't like the feeling of being negative. Like, yeah, it happens. It's going to happen here and there. Everyone's going to have their negative times. But I just don't like that feeling, because it just brings back a lot of those bad memories. And it just ruins everyone else's day. So I, I like to go throughout the day, you smile do. on my face. Yeah, but you, make it's okay. Snap. This is why Albert likes Alex too. And I got to give props. Alex is a good kid. At his core, Alex was saved. I love it. Alex is a good kid. He's got a positive attitude. But what that does is that makes Alex weak to things like being catfished. He's very similar to me. Like he probably wants to please people. He wants to help everybody. Wants to always be a positive impact in people's lives. Wants to have a smile on his face because he doesn't want to ruin anybody's day. Alex is a good kid. He's the draw to this channel. People love Alex because he's lovable. He's endearing. Okay? It's true. He, people come from trauma who come on the other side. That's a really, really good story for Alex. I love it. Alex is a great person. But just because you're that way doesn't mean you're not susceptible to being taken advantage of. It actually means that you're probably more susceptible to be taken advantage of. Because you get the attention you didn't have before. And all of a sudden it's new. And these people who know everything about you can probably scam you is what I'm saying. I'm not saying Savannah is a scammer. But I'm saying there are red flags there. And it's, I guess we're going to hear soon if that has happened already. I feel those feelings and I, I have know. that. But I do like that you make other people stay better. And that love bombing is a thing too. It's not always necessarily a good thing. So look into love bombing. Uh, you always have a great smile. So the second thing that Alex went through this week. Um, that Seems I, more sad about what they're about to talk about than his file. I thought it was going to break him, but it didn't. So I'm thankful for that is we found out that he was being catfished. And for those of you who follow like our Instagrams, I mean, as far as mine, like months and months ago, we had talked to the kids that we do not want to vlog or even talk about their relationships. Is that so? Ex <laughs> Unless you're getting engaged prematurely. We'll talk about that shit. And we'll let them move in too and we'll vlog them too. Is she kidding? And we've chosen not what? to go there on any of our platforms. But Alex did on... Are you shitting me? This must be so early because no, there's been engagements, broken marriages already. There's been like weddings in the living rooms. Everything is already... They do this all the time. What is she saying? We're not going to show it on our platforms. I've seen six videos and half those videos have like relationships. His Instagram. Yes, I, I did choose to share on my Instagram. Which is their personal Instagram, and if he chose to do it, I was totally okay with that. I just didn't want to share it on our bigger platform or on YouTube. We didn't want to share it on our bigger platform that he got catfished, because we don't want people to realize that this shit is dangerous. So of course you didn't want to share it on your bigger platform, Crystal. I get it. Just be truthful about it. Why? And highlight their relationship, because I feel like 
you just don't know what is or how things are going to turn out. Mm -hmm. And I had made one comment in our assumption video that I thought he might be getting catfished. And several of you went out and found the truth, which I'm actually thankful for. And you don't think that's dangerous? So you did an assumptions video, then all of your fans went and stalked somebody. You don't think that's a problem? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that you got it to the bottom of it, but you don't think that that's just an issue? That those people are that invested in the parasocial relationship that they're willing to like dig into other people? Holy shit, man. What are we seeing here? Every time I do a video on the crazy pieces, it just gets blown way more wide open. You guys actually found the real girl that Alex thought he was dating and she reached out to Alex and we were able to confirm that it was her and it kind of exposed everything, I guess, from there. Oh my gosh. It makes me really sad that someone would choose to catfish or, you know, I'm one that has watched the, you know, did they not know they were getting catfished? And it was like, yeah. yeah. And then you do it a bunch of times later. So he gets catfished. Then Isaac comes into the scene. Then Savannah steps in the scene and you guys aren't questioning this. No, instead what you do is you film it all. You document it all. You make money on it even though you probably know it's all going to fall apart. That's where you guys are complicit. Yes, Alex can make his own choices. He's an adult, right? But it's on you to like, I'm not filming any of this shit, Alex. We're not going to put this on our channel. Like she just said there. We don't put that on our channel because you never know. You think you know now? He, nobody knows this girl. And now you've got the other side of your hate digging into her. Savannah's going to enter into a world on YouTube that she does no idea about and all of her shit's going to come out. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't, but it's all going to come out. And Alex is already, I think, feeling it. He's like, guys, let me live. Let me do my thing. But I think in the, in the end, when your fans are warning you, when the people who love you are warning you, maybe you should listen, right? Your haters are going to hate no matter what, right? But when your fans are like, we don't like this. And again, you're an adult. You can do what you want. And it's not your fans' responsibility or anything. That they have no, that's not on them to tell you that. And you're going to do what you're going to do. But at the same time, this is a world that you guys have chosen. Crystal has chosen for you, Alex. You have not chosen this world. Okay, you were, you were groomed into this world and now you are off to do it yourself. You want to do YouTube. You don't want to go out to school. You don't want to get a real job. You think that YouTube is going to be the answer and maybe it will be for a little while, but I'm sorry, man, because you didn't, you were just the star of the show. You didn't, I'm sure you didn't have to edit and do all the, create content, understand how to make all that stuff. It's not as easy as you think. And I think we're seeing that, but Alex, you are the one here at all levels being either catfished, exploited by your parents and possibly being taken advantage of again. But I hope not. Honestly, I hope not. No. And so I, I kind of had suspected that he was, but at the same time I had tried and tried to research and I couldn't figure it out. So uh, you guys are amazing. I guess at research. You guys are secret agents. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But at the same time, it just makes me sad that someone felt that they had to hide behind pictures and hide who they really were and, and lie about it. And it Okay, welcome to the internet. My end thoughts here are just basically, it has happened before to Alex, okay? Yes, Savannah now is a real person. You've seen her, you've been with her, you, she's lived with you guys. But in the end, what do you really know? Are you hiring people to look into that stuff? Because unfortunately, that's the reality that you live in now when you've made your kids internet famous. What we know about Savannah, we shouldn't. Again, none of us should even know Savannah exists and Alex should be able to do what he wants with his own private life. But because you've made your entire lives public, this is what you have entered this girl into. She might be innocent. She might be amazing. She might be everything Alex thinks she is. And I hope she is. I swear to God, I do. But the issue is that this happens all the time and you've made your kids targets, Crystal and Aaron. You have done this to them. They will never be able to have a normal relationship because you have made them famous. You have given away all of their secrets, all of their trauma, all of their history on the internet for anybody to have. And they can create a person that they want to be that they think that that person wants them to be. This is a dangerous world and a dangerous game that you guys are playing. And it has already happened. And Alex seems to be susceptible to that type of behavior, right? Same with me. Now I overlook, but again, I hope that he learned his lesson and everything that they were looking for later is that. But 
What we know about Savannah is that she's from New York. She could be works for an airline. Maybe. I don't know. She definitely vapes and smokes, which is definitely against that family's code of conduct. I guarantee you that. Um, She's someone that nobody really knows. But I think because Alex is the star of Crazy Pieces, that's why this is so divisive. This is that's why this is so polarizing. He has all of the fans that really love him. And those fans, likely a lot of girls, are going to be like, I don't like Savannah because just because they like Alex, right? A lot of them are going to be parents that say, this is crazy that you're allowing your kid to do this. And where I am, this is crazy that you use this for freaking content and exploitation purposes. Because he's an adult now, he can consent. So it's exploitation, yeah. But Crystal needs to know, and she does know, that this shit is all red flags galore, and she chooses to ignore everything to make content for it without parenting her children first. Crystal is not a parent. Crystal is a friend. And these kids need parents. Take a deep breath. <sighs> That's crazy. Again, this isn't over. I think we're going to see some craziness happen. Alex is going to start his, has already started his YouTube channel. Um, he's become the center of the snark on the pages, and people are coming after Savannah. He's got a rough go ahead of him, and it's not his fault. And it's not Savannah's fault. It's Crystal and Aaron's fault all day long. Their fault. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to informed consent. He didn't know early in the game that this is what his life would be. That's what you can't consent to. He did not consent to this. And now it's too late. You guys are beautiful and awesome and amazing. Thank you for being here for this video. I really appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing day. See you tomorrow.